All right. Welcome to the compatibility guide video of Amputive Microphones. In this video, we will be talking about the compatibility issues related to four types of devices. Number one, smartphone or tablet. Number two, laptop or PC. Number three is DSLR. And number four is all the remaining devices. Any device which does not fall into the first three categories falls into the fourth category. Please note that in this video, we will only be talking about the compatibility issues. That means that the problems where you are not sure if the microphone is getting detected to your device or not. We will not be talking about the performance based issues such as facing a lot of background noise, beeping sound while recording the audio or video and etc. We will not be talking about that. In this video, we will only be talking about the compatibility issues related to the microphone. So let's get started. Smartphone and tablet. This microphone is especially designed to be used by smartphones and tablet. Before using this, you must decide, do you want to record audio or do you want to record video along with the audio? Now, please note that in order to set up the microphone, you need to connect the red jack of the microphone splitter cable that you must have got with the packet to the microphone jack itself. All right, connect the red jack of the microphone splitter cable to the microphone. Now, once you have made that connection, here are some few points to note. You must ensure that the connection between the splitter cable and the microphone jack is super duper tight. Even a millimeter of distance can affect the audio quality. So make sure that the connection between the female jack of the microphone splitter cable and the male jack of the microphone is absolutely tight. And also the connection between the splitter cable and your smartphone should also be tight. Please remove your smartphone cover if you are using it any because even a millimeter of distance can make a day and night difference between the audio quality. Last is more of a performance related thing but I will ask you, I will highly highly encourage you to record in a completely silent environment. Alright, no AC, no table fans. You'll have to sacrifice this. You'll have to sacrifice the comfort for the great audio quality. To use the open camera app with your smartphone, first you need to go to settings. Then you need to go to video settings. Scroll down in the video settings and you will see an option which says audio source. Click on that. Once you have clicked on the audio source option, you need to make sure that the option which says external mic if present should be checked. This option will make the open camera app recognize the external microphone. Once you have set up the open camera app, it is absolutely important that you check if the microphone is being detected. There is no digital way of checking that. You can only check it physically. You need to tap on the microphone to check if it is being detected or not. For example, I'm talking to you on a microphone right now. And if I tap on the microphone, you will be able to hear the disturbance. All right. Similarly, while recording the video, you need to tap on the microphone to check if it is being detected or not. All right. When your external microphone is working, the internal microphone will not work. And when the internal microphone is working, the external microphone will not work. Both of them never work together. Now, this is the most important part of the entire video. Many devices, even after setting up the open camera app, do not detect the microphone. For that, you will have to use an absolutely game changing software, which is lesser audio switch. Once you use this software, I will absolutely, I can absolutely guarantee you that more than 95% of the devices which were not compatible before will be compatible now. All right. So all you need to do is to is just download this application from Play Store 
and you're good to go. If you want to use the lesser audio switch app with your smartphone, then you need to click on the headphones option. Now, once you've clicked on the headphones option, the microphone should start working with it, assuming that you have connected it with the splitter cable. But in some cases, it may not work that, that well. So what you need to do is go to settings. Then make sure that the option which says switch microphone also force headset mic to be used is checked. Now go back. And in some cases, you may also have to click on the speakers option if the headphones option did not work. Now I know that this is really weird. Technically, it should not work like that. But that's how the way it is. In some smartphones, it does work like that. Now, if you want to get more advanced on this, you need to go to settings, then go to advanced, then go to debug. In the debug option, go to input. This will show you all the input devices. Now, look at the type which says headset. Right now, the connection says no, because right now I am not recording using an external microphone. But once you have connected your microphone with the smartphone, this headset option connection should say yes. If it is not saying yes, then it means there is some problem. And in that case, you need to contact our support team. Make sure to, to click on the input again to refresh it once you have connected the device, if you are troubleshooting the device with your smartphone. If you want to record audio, the process will be pretty much the same. You will obviously have to use the microphone splitter cable as mentioned before and you can use any third party audio recording app because let's be honest, the default audio recording apps in most of the smartphones are not that good. So we will suggest you that you can use any of the two audio recording apps mentioned on the screen. Number one is RecForge Audio Recorder. This application is absolutely gorgeous because in using this application, you can actually adjust the sensitivity of the microphone. Please make sure that you go to the settings of RecForge Audio Recorder and make it recognize the external microphone. Snipback Audio Recorder is also a good one. This actually comes with an option to cancel the noise after we have done recording the audio. So Snipback Audio Recorder and Recford Audio Recorder are absolutely awesome. Now the procedure is pretty much the same. If you are facing a detection problem, use lesser audio switch. All right, and follow the settings that we mentioned. Experiment, experiment and experiment. See guys, there are so many smartphones out there so many devices are coming out each and every month that it becomes almost impossible for us to keep track if the microphone is working with each and every device. So we only look at the 3.5 mm jack configuration and it works with almost every device. Now, if you are facing compatibility issues, I will suggest you to experiment. Look out on the internet why your device is not working. All right. Look out on the internet, see why it is not being detected, restart your device. I will tell you one small experiment that you can try. You can try connecting the splitter cable to the smartphone first and then connect the microphone to the red jack of the splitter cable. Or you may connect the microphone to the splitter cable first and then connect the splitter cable to your smartphone. This looks like pretty much the same, but there's a difference. Also, you can try inserting earphones in the green jack of the microphone splitter cable. This is, this sometimes works for Motorola devices. So if the microphone is not working for you, you may also try this. This is another type of experiment. If you are facing any other issues, try restarting your device, tap on the microphones while recording, try the microphone with different devices. All right, because sometimes a particular device is actually not designed to use an external microphone at all. So try it with different devices. In less than 1% of the cases, you may receive a defective microphone from us. But throughout our sales history, this has never happened. So if the microphone is not working, you can almost be sure that it is a compatibility issues. And all you need to do, all you need to do is just to experiment. 
if the pro if your problem is still not solved you can contact us you can contact our support team at the number or the email id given in the description box below laptops and pc if you are trying to use the microphone with your laptop please keep one thing in mind this microphones will work for your laptop but this microphone is not designed keeping laptop laptops in mind this microphone is designed keeping the smartphones in mind so if by any chance you can use a smartphone instead of a laptop it will be better but you can also use this microphone obviously with a laptop now when you are using the smartphone with your laptop you need to take care of two things first you need to know is the 3.5 mm jack of your laptop is a dedicated microphone port or is it a common headset port for most of the devices for most of the devices it will be a common headset port if there is a dedicated microphone port then there must be two 3.5 mm jacks in your laptop all right if there is only one jack then you can almost guarantee that it is a common headset port you need to look for microphone device in the recording section all right all you need to do is look for the microphone device in the recording section we can't say by what name it will be there but it will be there okay it will be there if the right drivers are installed you will see another microphone popping up along with the regular real tech high definition audio microphone which is your internal microphone which is present in every laptop now there is a very high possibility there is a very strong possibility that the microphone will not work for your laptop the reason for that is sometimes the right real tech drivers are not installed in your system all right and let me be honest with you guys finding the right real tech device is a pain in the ass the process of doing that is absolutely hard i've researched about it i've talked to my team about it and most in most of the laptops we face really great difficulty in finding the right real tech drivers so you can try various videos on the internet you can try checking out various real tech drivers that may support your system you can try contacting your laptop teams for example if you're using an hp laptop contact hp support and ask what drivers are necessary to make the external microphone work the process is not that simple believe me but i've given you a video in the description box below you can check out that video it will teach you how to install the right real tech drivers for your system now the best solution for you the best bet for you is to use a usb sound card if the right real tech drivers are not working then i can guarantee you a usb sound card will work 99.99999% of the times and the performance you will get by using a usb sound card is much more better please keep in mind that we do not sell any usb sound card you may buy it from your local store or you can buy it from amazon we get absolutely no commission in that it's just a friendly suggestion that you must use usb sound card instead of directly plugging the microphone in the headset jack dslrs if you're trying to use the microphone with your dslrs then first you must make sure that your dslr does support an external microphone and then you must make sure if you have a canon or nikon device you must make sure that the microphone is compatible with your dslrs now there are many other camera brands out there such as sony or panasonic in that case we are not that sure because we do not have the complete list for every brand but you can try it out you can see if it is working or not the worst thing that can happen with you is that you will get a full free refund in case the microphone does not support your dslr now every dslr comes with a dedicated microphone port so you do not have to use a splitter cable all you have to do is just connect the microphone directly to your dslr and it will work just fine uh, now let's say you have connected your dslr with the microphone and it is still not working well there are some settings that you may need to change in the dslr itself for that 
read articles on read articles on google look for videos on youtube the internet is your friend guys there is a lot of support regarding this microphone regarding any 3.5 mm microphone on the internet please check it out please see that what are the settings that you need to follow it is impossible for us to keep track of each and every device but we are trying our best in case if you are still not able to solve it you can contact our support team at the number or the email id given in the description this also applies for other device if you are using some other device such as zoom h1 recorder some amplifier for which the microphone is not recommended or any other device please research it out on the internet and then contact us if your problem is not solved contact us all right we will help you regarding that but i'm sorry we do not have any articles regarding that because again keeping track of each and every device is really really difficult so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you are facing any problem i will repeat again contact our support team at the email id or the number given in the description thank you so much for watching this video if you are facing any performance based issues we will be making a video on that very soon we will teach you step by step how to get crystal clear audio quality using the ampudev microphones thank you so much for watching